Hi everyone, this is Mindy and welcome to my channel. My card project today is going to feature a really great stamping hack that's going to allow you to create all of these balloons really quickly. So the set that I'm using today is this Birthday Balloons from Pretty Pink Posh. And my idea was to create this big assortment of balloons. So that means I'm going to need to stamp images multiple times. And the best way I found to do that was to take some white cardstock and just die cut out a bunch of these balloons. Now you want to save your negative piece because we're going to be using that. I'm bringing out my Misty tool, which is going to be crucial in this stamping trick that I'm going to show you. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking the solid balloon image and I'm going to condition it with my Versamark. I inked it up with the Versamark ink, then wiped it clean with a stamp chamois because it's a solid image. I want to make sure I'm getting really great coverage. Now I'm inking this up with a light yellow ink just to stamp it down onto some scratch paper that I have in my Misty. Then before I line up that template, I'm gonna place this Misty sticky mat over the top so it's clear I can see straight through to the bottom on my scratch paper. And I took that negative piece and lined up one of the open areas of the balloon. So what I'm doing is I'm using that as a template so I can pop in all those die cut balloons that I did. And because I have that sticky mat underneath, my template and the balloon is kind of stuck down to it so it's not going to move around and my balloon can stay in the exact same place every time. Then I had just inked that up with a light yellow ink, which I believe is Lemon Drop from Gina K Designs and stamped that down. Now to remove this, you just need to kind of fold or bend that uh, sticky sheet and it'll pop out. It becomes easier the more I'm using it. Mine is pretty new, so it's, it's really sticky. So after I remove that balloon, I can pop in another one in that same place and just go through a rainbow of colors. Now the particular design that I want to do has the little sprinkles kind of at the bottom of the balloon and I'm going to use that throughout all of the balloons. I just need to have the solid layer done first. So all of my solid layers are going to be done in light colors. That pink was light carnation. Then I'm bringing in Red Hot, and all of these colors are going to be listed down below in the video description, and they're all from Gina K Designs. I did Sweet Mango, Key Lime, I believe this one is Sea Glass, and then I have Blue Raspberry, and I'm also going to bring in, I think this was Wild Lilac, and then Lovely Lavender. So I had die cut quite a few of these out, and I just really wanted to have that rainbow assortment to give myself some options. All my solid images are done, so I'm bringing in that additional element, which is these little kind of sprinkles at the bottom of the balloon. I lined that up open, over the open area of that template and then picked it up with the door of the Misty. So now I can bring back all of those stamped balloons, pop them back in, and stamp this in a darker color. So there was a passionate pink. That one, I believe, is red velvet. Tangerine Twist, uh, Wild Dandelion, I believe that was, Jelly Bean Green, I have Turquoise Sea, Medium Lilac, nope, sorry, this one is in the navy, <laughs> forgot about the dark blue balloon, that one I believe was Medium Lilac, and then Wild Lilac. Now keep in mind, even though I chose the same design for every balloon, there are other images. So you could add stripes or stars, lots of other things that you can do for your balloons. I'm going to repeat all of those same steps for the strings for my balloon. And for this one, I will be using mushroom ink from Concord and Ninth. Instead of a real stark black, I kind of just wanted to have this dark gray. Now birthday cards, I don't think you can ever have enough of. There's always a birthday that you can send a card to. But I think this set is going to be very versatile because it can be used for graduation. So you could customize the color of your balloons for the school colors. They're also great for anniversary or wedding. There's just so many things balloons can be used for to just really create a festive card or celebratory card. I did two designs of the balloons. I did kind of just that swoopy one and then the one with the curl in it. I actually don't end up using as many strings for the balloon as I thought I was going to. Now, once I have everything kind of done, I'm gonna sit and play with an arrangement on the front of my card to figure out the best way to do this. I tried to keep it in rainbow order and I had decided that that one really bright blue balloon was just too bright for my color combination that I had here. So I'm gonna save that for just a different project. Now, once I'm happy with the arrangement, I'm going to use my Glad Press and Seal, place that over all of those balloons, 
and then I'm going to flip it over and I found this a lot easier to flip this over and actually peel that cardstock up versus trying to peel the press and seal off of that cardstock if that makes sense. Then for the strings of the balloons, I, like I said, I, I had overstamped them. I thought I'd have a string for like every balloon uh, that just was looking a little too crowded and bunching up too much behind my balloons. So I'm just going to add a few of them down here at the bottom using my connect glue that I have in these fine tip bottles. I'm just adding them to those two very bottom balloons. And then one I'm going to kind of tuck behind a little bit just so it's going to show it hanging down doesn't necessarily need to be connected to a balloon. I just want them to all kind of come together down at the bottom. For the background, you could definitely just leave the background plain white or a colored cardstock, but I wanted to spruce it up just a little bit. So I'm taking the starry background from Pretty Pink Posh and I'm going to add a layer of this gold glitz glitter gel. And this is really great for adding kind of just a subtle background. It's very celebratory, so it kind of shows a celebration, but yet it's not gonna overpower my balloons. I'm going to just kind of spread my palette knife over there to smooth everything out. I wipe off the excess using a baby wipe, and then I'm gonna take this over to the sink right away and rinse it off, because this will dry on your stencil pretty quick. So I'm gonna set that off on the side and work on my sentiment. This is the large Celebrate Hot Foil Plate. I did this out of some rainbow glimmer foil, and I had created this kind of prior when the release came out. So I already had that done, and I layered that together with multiple die cuts of the Celebrate shadowed piece. For adding my balloons to the front of the card, I added large foam squares over the back of the balloons and I tried to place them where the balloons were overlapping so that it kind of, the foam squares are keeping the balloons all together. And then I could attach that to the front of my cardstock panel. And then I could just carefully peel away that press and seal. And now for Celebrate, I'm adding small foam squares just to the very ends. That way in the middle, it's overlapping those strings that are kind of popped up a little bit because of the dimension I added to the balloons. And that finishes off my birthday card. So I really love these balloons and how easy it was to quickly stamp all of those out. And just because it has kind of that birthday theme, this could also just be a friendship card. It doesn't even have to really have a theme to it. You could do sending hugs or just to say hello. All of my supplies are linked down below in the video description and over on my blog as well. I want to thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again real soon.